All right, so we're jumping around on all kinds of projects today, working on the trailer, but today we're going to work on, uh, what is this, Colton? Tell us about your bike. The, what kind? What year is it? Uh, it's a 2000, uh, I think it's a 6, right? Yeah. 2006, what yeah. brake make? It's an 85 SX, yeah, um, it's a KTM. I, I didn't really break it. I was we were at Dell riding around. Um, There's a flat mo uh, a fl I don't know how to call it like a flat place. Where I was holding this too long because I don't like the mud and slipping around in my dirt bike. So I was just holding it too long. Then it went. Then it just went out. So okay. So as you can see, there's no top end on it. And what happened was is when we bought this. So so how'd you get this motorcycle? Like, what did I do to earn it? Yeah. Uh, I was mowing lawns with Grandpa. My mom played a, a hundred bucks uh, towards it. Uh, I think that's all. And we sold your old motorcycle. Oh, yeah, we sold my 100R. Uh, then we, did we sell that 90? Mm-hmm. Yeah, then we sold the 90, so we got it faster than usual. Okay, so he worked for most of the money. And the guy that we bought it from said he'd just rebuild it. But really all he'd done is put a ring in it. So what we have are some parts. Let me see if I can find them. Okay, there's Tyler. He knows all about this stuff. So here's the head, I mean the cylinder. And these, we just got it back from the machine shop and they sent it out and had it nickel plated. So what had happened when we took it apart the first time, it had worn through the nickel plating in the cylinder here. And it's really toxic to re-nickel these so they send them out. So Tyler took it apart, sent it out, and had it re-nickeled. It's been honed and it's just like a brand new cylinder and it's ready to go back in. So that's what we're going to do today is put the cylinder back on and get it going. So, I'm just going to kind of film a little bit here and there as we go. And I'll ask Tyler and Colton questions as we, uh, as we do it. Okay, so we got to put the head, the cylinder back together. In this bag is the power valve, right? Yep. It's the power valve. This is a two-stroke. It's uh, it's a screamer. Uh, I have two grandsons that are about the same age. This one, Colton, he's uh, 12, and my other grandson is Connor. It's almost and he's almost 13 and he rides a Yamaha YZ85 two-stroke and these guys have been riding since they were five and five and six years old and this is their this is Colton's fourth bike yeah wait yeah yeah this is Colton's fourth bike so what Tyler Dish did is he uh, just put the ring on the piston. You can see it has a brand new piston in it. Yeah. New gaskets. Okay, go over there and watch what Tyler's doing. Do you have some car cleaner? Yes. I do. Okay, hold that. Make sure you can see what watch what Tyler's doing. I do what you do. Nice, I walk around both sides of my truck. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you doing, Tyler? Just cleaning this power valve up. Okay. Oh. 
Sure wish it was going to be as pretty as that hit, that cylinder, huh? Yeah. Okay, so this is what every good mechanic does. They take pictures of what it was like before they tore it apart. What did we ever do before we had cameras on our phones? I remember the first carburetor I took apart down in the basement on the freezer. I didn't have any, uh, all we had is diagrams. We had to learn how to follow the diagram. Yep. But, well, see, there's the diagram. Now you can't tell on his phone, but. So, following the diagram. Connor doesn't like my seat. It's hard, but I like it. It's a KTM. I know. Not supposed to sit on it, right, Tyler? That's right. Don't keep That's doing That's what he told me. If your butt's getting sore, you should be standing up. Yeah. Your butt doesn't get sore. It's only my, like, right here and here. And we went on a ride, Mark and Tyler were way ahead. Then I was just, I was just going, mm -hmm, trying to catch up. I see that screw on here. They thrown in pieces. <laughs> they can confuse me. <clears throat> Is there any place else on that? Cause they took it up. So they took the they took the head apart. Tyler took it to them and the power valve was still in it. And so they when we got it back it was the the head and then all the parts from the power valve were in a plastic bag and we we have an extra screw. Let's see this piece. Could it go in here, Tyler? Part of that cover. Yeah, it might be. All the KTM stuff is PEX, and this is a regular screw, so... Oh! We can't have that. I know. I wonder where it even came from. So we have KTM people in our family. We have Honda people in our family. We have Yamaha, Honda people, Hamayamas. What else? Did, did we have any of didn't you ride a different bike? No, I've always had Hondas or Yamahas. Does it go in the very end to hold that? I had Yamahas, I had Hondas. No, it hasn't had anything rubbing against it. That's not threaded. No. My next bike might be a 125. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we found where the screw goes. Some good napkins you bought for camping. <laughs> it was a heavy duty. <laughs> Still want my work suit this video. <laughs> what was that with that came from? <laughs> Does that get a gasket? Well, there wasn't one in here. Unless they took it. What does the diagram show? the o-rings on there holding it. Gotcha. Do you got what you need or do you need a socket? Um I got that thing behind you but if you got one more handy you can... I've got do you want I've got some quarter inch stuff. Eight millimeter
Oh, Papa Do. What are you doing? I'm doing If you're getting a Gatorade, share with Lucas. Share with Lucas, please. I want the blue one. What the? What the? Tell Grandma. <laughs> That's interesting that there's no that there's a gasket though on that end one. Mm -hmm. But it shows that on the diagram yeah. right, too. This is actually connected to the bottom of the crank, too. The crank is, so that's probably why. Okay, so what happened? This one's closing! So what happened when it, how did it stop? Did it, like, stay? Okay, so that's back together. Power valve's on. What, how did it stop? Yeah, the seal must be just around the... That's so weird. Hey, go get that little garbage can. Giving it something to rub on so it doesn't have a dry start up. Lubing the cylinder. Better more than not enough. Yes. Smoke a little bit, but it's just it smokes a little anyway. <laughs> it's extra rich. This doesn't happen again. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know. This thing was putting out a lot of spuge. I can, it kind of blows me away. Spuge is what comes out of the seams of the gas tank on a t on the exhaust on a two stroke it's unburned oil the blue, the, the, they call it they call it spuge and it's nasty smoking. you get it on yourself or you get it on the cement oh yeah it doesn't come off KTM um, two stroke smoke a lot and that, we were at Del, I was with uh, Connor and Justin does his, does his smoke crazy. a lot? Yeah. I mean, it takes a little bit to calm down, but... He's going extra gooey on his, too. Is he? Okay, here we go. This is the exciting part. You need five hands. There's a little notch on here, just line that up, pinch it. Really? Oh, then tighten. Wasn't that cool? So now the power valve's hooked up. Does that? That doesn't have a seal. Does it? Oh, it goes down around yeah, the. There's a little rubber. There's a little seal right there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Got this little cover. Is it easier to do this head bolt with that cover off? I guess not. No. It's not a head bolt anyway, cylinder bolt. Yep, put it in there. 
Good job. No, you're not going to torque it, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're talking high class stuff here. Torquing stuff and everything. Ooh. That's awesome. We're not from, we're not, we're from the back wood, backyard, but not the, sh mm. uh, not, we're out from under the shade tree. I gotta look up what the torque is, though. <laughs> On an eight? Well, it's in inch pounds, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure the same as the head. So the head says 71 inch pounds, so. Are those the same? Hmm? Are these little ones that much? Yeah, we'll do a little less. But... Are you supposed to do something right here? Yeah. Well, uh, Tyler's got some nuts. Oh, yeah. I wonder what it looks like without that on. Like, just... Because I know it moves. Well, as soon as Tyler torques the uh, cylinder down, we can move the kickstand and you can see the... Mine's a racing bike, so it doesn't have the, like, push-down, kick-down. You just have to use the ones that uh, pull apart. Nice. Oh, wow, check it out. Okay, give it to you to Colt and then let him do the other side. What am I supposed to do? Oh. oh, right here. There you go. These ones I couldn't get a socket to fit on these ones, so they'll be torqued by our whatever we decide to. What size are they? Um, I got a wrench set right here too. Can you? Oh, I thought I had some of those uh, uh, wrenches that you could put in a saw in a. What size is it, Tyler? 15? Probably a 14. 13. You got it? Yep. Get it up front one a little bit. Let's do the front one first. Do the front one first. Give Tyler his range. You do the front one first. We'll go in an order. That way, there you go. Make sure the wrench is on there for you. Mm -hmm. Then just snug it to where it starts getting tight. Okay, wait. Watch. If you flip the wrench, you can go a little further. See how I'm doing that? Um. I flip the wrench over. Are you putting a little pressure on that? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Okay, get some pressure on that Put one. some pressure on that one. Flip the... No, other oh, way. Other Righty tighty. I'll try to flip oh, the yeah, to Use the box. They call that the box end. The box. There you go. Got it. I'm going to do it a little tighter. Okay. We'll let... Uh, we'll, that's good. We'll let Tyler do the final tighten. Because then he'll know they'll all be tightened about the same if he does them all.
Okay, so Tyler, yep. turn it over. Watch, you guys see that? See the piston go up and down? Yeah, that's cool. She's ready to go. Yeah, that's nice. Alright. Ready to rip. Ready to rip, tater chip. Okay, get down there and watch. So what's that called? It's o ring. Lube them up a little bit too. Yes, sir. So, because that earthquake last night, did that shut Canacot down? No. Nope. They kept you working? I wasn't working last night, but they, they were still going. Oh. Tyler drives a uh, rock truck. Is that what they call them? Rock trucks? Hall trucks. Hall trucks. Up at Kennecott Copper Mine here in Bingham, Utah. It's... Uh, not one of those little ones like you see on uh, on Gold Rush. It's a big one. You can put a Gold Rush truck in, a couple of them in the back of it. You need, need that out? Do you need it out? Yeah, I can get it out. Just don't pick at it too hard. Let me get this. So is that just two-stroke oil, or is that? Yep, just the two-stroke oil you mix with the fuel. Always lube up every O-ring you put in. Yes, sir. Okay, we wrangled the gasket, we hope, and now we're tightening down the head. Always go finger tight first. What is that one? You can tie it along with that. It's kind of greasy. Just got to have some grandpa hands. Yeah. Okay. Here, Colton. Put it on that one. Put your hand up here to hold it. There you go. Mm. Yep, just do it a little bit. Keep going. Oh, other way. Yeah. Oh, I'll come back. Okay, let me get one over here now. You want to do a, a crisscross just so I get yeah. lug nuts. So it goes down even. Mm. You want to do one up here? That one. Okay. So that's called a torque wrench. When he gets it tight, it makes a little click. 
There you go. I'm going to tighten them all a little bit more. Looks like a motorcycle again. Keep them close. Okay, that's exactly what she's supposed to be right there. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. That little click. Okay, so this particular model, you can tell by that little head, there's no fins on it, is water cooled. So Tyler is now putting on the hoses. Oh, this is probably the one that goes in the head. This piece on my motorcycle is that one because my chain keeps coming off. But it's not this bike. Need a screwdriver? Yeah. You want a screwdriver or not? Oh, let's go. Let's fly it. Okay, Colt, remember how I was telling you that. It Knowing the next step. Oh, yeah. So when Tyler put the hose clamp on, I noticed he didn't have a screwdriver in his hand, so I asked him, Do you need a screwdriver? You know, so you gotta watch and learn the next step. Mm -hmm. Okay, Colton, hold the, hold the camera up. Perfect. Is that too big? That's going to be too small. It's going to be a little too small. How many do you need? Two. Yeah. One more, two. Is that how you want it? Is facing up like that? Yep, that'll work.
So it does all kinds of Y-in, doesn't it? Y's mm -hmm. up here and you tie the yeah. tanks together. It's a harbor freight that holds clamps. Hopefully it holds. <laughs> I got some right here. Okay. Does that go clear down? It goes up right up here, huh? Yep. Are there springs? Is there springs that hold that on? Yeah. Oh, I see that. Okay. So if you got some vice grips, that's yep. what I usually use. Yep. And I have one of them fancy spring pullers. Got a brake tool. This side work. Oh, it's like still coming right here. It's right over there, isn't it? Yep. Them all in comparison right now. Spooge. Is that the black stuff that comes out of the exhaust? Is that no, what it is? No, that's to keep it from make it come out the tailpipe instead of the joints. Mm -hmm. I think it helps these O-rings out big time. Does it get a clamp? No, it doesn't have one on it. You just gotta wiggle it around until it goes where it's supposed to go. Okay, just a minute, time to rest. Okay. Okay, there you go. Carburetor cleaner, Colton. I 
think I do want to clip that back though. What's that? Now it's looking like a motorcycle. Yeah, she's on a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. I just noticed, I didn't notice that yet, but there's like a dent in it. Shouldn't be too bad. You got a good spot to get those clamps on your down or the springs. I'm assuming that we hook it on the motor first. Yeah, we pull her out and hook her on the motor. Let's see that one. Okay, there's that one. Well, they're funny because they spin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should wait on the, the hose. Yeah. Yeah, we may have to take that hose off. Is it? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to take that. Can't see from this angle. Oh, I see it. I got a pair of needle nose if that helps. Maybe. Yeah. Easier to take those off real quick. Here, let me let me see it. Where's that spring? Maybe I can. That's right behind the holes. I'm just not as nimble as I used to be. <laughs> Almost. What does that hold? It holds, it holds like the. Oh, she's right there. Let me get a. Get a little. Okay. I have that big one. But I'm not. Uh, second drawer down on the bottom ones. Are those regular? If those are Phillips, it's the next one up. Yeah, 
I just pull that hose off. Probably just have to pull it off and pull this one off. That one up a little bit. Give me just a little more room. Give me one more try. One more try. Oh yeah, you got it. Done, done, done. To the end? Yep. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Done. <laughs> It's number one grandson. Did you get these tightened? No, that one. Is that a number eight? Take the whole KTMAM apart with a number eight? Pretty much. They're all eights or tens. Did you get the exhaust? That one back there. Yep. The gigglers. Grandpa, you should convince my dad to let me ride my motorcycle over. Where is he? At my house. Yeah, I'm gonna call him right now. You Did you get it in? Yeah. Dad, call him ride his bike over. Yeah, call him well, I'm gonna try to ride this. So. See what you got here to work on that. Did this mean call him from my dad and ask if you if no text and ask him to call him his motorcycle over? Does this get a... Yeah. I'll just put it in the other place. Now it's on the other side. Right home, but this She's one. missing my seat. Where's my seat? Do you have a little bigger washer? We don't know if it's fixed. Lighting is The rest of there, there's the Yamahana guys. Did you screw up. Yamaha, I can't find the plug. Okay. It's all back together. We're gonna give it a shot. I have not seen this one. So here it is, we're out here on the desert, it's the COVID-19, and this is how we're social distancing.
So that's Colton. He's 12 years old. He's riding a KTM 85. Over there, you can't see him in the dust. He just laid it down. He'll be coming here in a minute. Okay, here they come. This is Colton on the KTM. There's Connor on the Yamaha YZ. There's Justin on his YZ250. Okay, we got them all going the same way so they're not going to run into each other.
sun brutal. I think Justin laid it down. Okay, you're gonna have to pressure wash that when you get home. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dirty. All right. Hey. My recorder, I'm recording you. What are you doing in the back of Grandpa's truck? Uh, we're, we're playing Indiana Jones. You're playing Indiana Jones? Yeah, yeah we can do it! Okay, sing the song. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> can you do it? Dun da dun da dun da da dun da dun da dun da 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 Okay, good job. All right, so it's April 18th, and this is what COVID-19 looks like to us. First time out. Where'd he go? There he is. There he is. So we're out on the west desert of Utah. A place called uh, Lookout Pass. And this is uh, this is my son's trailer. It's his first trip out. They just got it. That's our trailer. You've seen it sitting next side of the house. 
Here comes the crazies. And that's Zoe. And that's Tiki. But this is where we're at. Just trying to deal with the isolation. They just lifted the uh, stay at home, but we're supposed to be social distancing. But we've been, none of us are sick, so we figured we'd come out here and hang out. I saw you up there. Okay, we're gonna do a little hill climbing. See if we can find you. There he is. So that was no trail, that's just picking your way through the bush. He's just recovering from soldier, shoulder surgery. Only been allowed to ride for the last couple weeks. And there's Brooklyn with her unicorn helmet on. She's a unicorn. Oh, she gonna biff it? She made it. She made it. There's Nana. There's Nanner. But there we go. That was graceful. <laughs> it didn't come back around like I wanted it to. Mm. In my defense, I don't do many pivot turns. <laughs> so this is what the campsite looks like. Enjoying the fire. That's our little TRX 250. We call him Squeaky because it squeaks a lot. Or Bannett, Caisson. 
Here's my truck. I pull doubles. That little trailer right there. Okay, so around the fire we have what we call the stick of power and I've had that stick for probably five years, four or five years, but it's the fire stick and whoever possesses it has to take care of the fire. That's why we call it the stick of power. Not many people know how to use it right to wield its power, but you can see Susan, our grandma, has been doing a good job. Got a nice fire going there. So she can use the stick of power. I'll have to train the others. Still working on them. Susan! <laughs> 
What are you aiming for, Brew? Um, the gray set again. Okay, let's hit it again. She already hit it once. Oh, that was a miss. Good job, though. Yeah. You gonna go again? Yeah. Okay, finish that clip. Clean it up. Hey, I think you hit it. I think you hit it. Good I heard job. a ringing in it. Okay, you got a few more in there. Keep going. Okay. You can aim for a different one if you want. No. Okay. This. Uh, I want to aim for the... For the olives. For what? Olives? Okay. Use your... Shoot. Close your left eye. this eye and then if you want just a little bit okay. I think that was her last one was that your last one nope keep going okay I think that was it okay good job Ruth. Nope. You got it. Got it. Yeah. You did. Yeah. You did. What are you aiming at now? The same. Same. Okay. Yeah. I think you're a little high on that one. I think I'm gonna go. To what happens if someone's like in the tree and like we shoot them? Just make a decision, man. I think I gotta do the olives. Olives? Okay. When I did, I tried Here, to do this. Time out. Put this up. Put this elbow out. Connor! There you go. Connor! Connor! A little low. Connor! Turn your body a little bit. Hey, don't go in front of that fireball. Lean forward. Hello. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, take a breather. <laughs> yeah, I had to go on. A... Go left. Is it? Yep, you were ain't you hit left. So go to the right a little. Mm -hmm. Yep. You hit the can. <laughs> the Pepsi can. Oh, that was not the one I was aiming for. Okay. Mom, it's so bright. I'm aiming for the Coca-Cola. Turn it into a double. 
Okay, are you ready? Hey, just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, I've got them both. Oh! Got one. Oh! Daddy got both of them. Hang on, let's see if we actually got them. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh wow. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. You're gonna have to help me edit this video. Cause I was. I was on them both. This one. I clipped. I should have shown Dad. You've got to ask Daddy. Hey Daddy. Hey, nice. hey, stay behind. Behind here. Yep. He had to stay behind the table. Hey, what are you shooting at? Uh, the Mountain Dew. On the branch? On the right, yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay. Holy cow! What? My turn. Mommy's turn. What? No! Hey, I got every Don't one of touch. those. Tight. Don't touch those. Those are really hot. Oh, man, so, I it. Yeah. <laughs> that gun's kind of heavy. A couple of those you hit almost right in the same spot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, look at the back. Like it's okay. Just turn it over. Stay there. Down lower. Put it down where it was. Yeah, I pulverized it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some photography going on there now. Oh, jeez. How am I gonna supposed to shoot that one now? Oh, that's turned in. Okay, good. All right, mommy's turn. Mom, where are you gonna aim? So doesn't like the. Or nope. Ruger doesn't like the. Uh, the guns. The guns. Nobody likes. Mm -hmm. Want me to load it for you? You want to? Do it. I wanna do it. I wanna do it again. Okay, you gotta tell me what you're shooting at. Okay. Ruger's like, I don't wanna go back there because it's so. And you're shooting guns. <laughs> I'm miserable. <laughs> Okay, tell Grandpa what you're shooting. The olives. Okay, just a I minute. Hit that just one a minute. You already hit the olives? Yeah. You knocked it right down. Okay, I'm on it. Oh, boy, you're high. That's a low gun. She's hitting the Wait, stump. Wait, I said stay behind the table. To the left. Stand where Ben is. Oh, there I got it. it. The Gatorade above. On the, okay, just a minute. Let me find it. The Gatorade above. Husband, are you getting a picture of me? God, I right there. Oh, that one? Yeah. Wait, that's a big guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, this monster oh, can. Like the white one. That. Okay, I'm on it. I got that one. Oh, oh, I'm out. out. <laughs> She's out. No, hey, I'm not. Hey, we I all, hey, it. you need to stand back. Okay, don't move your finger on the trigger until I say. Okay, this goes right here. Let's see. Let me see your hand. Okay, <laughs> put it right there. Don't put on the trigger until I tell you to. Put this hand right here. Okay? Okay, hang on. Go! Okay, hang on. Look out, look at what you're shooting at, okay? What one? Okay. Pull the trigger. These root beer cans? Yeah. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? <laughs> okay. Okay, you just gotta pull real hard. It's interesting. He doesn't like the shooting. Oh. He doesn't mind the motorcycles, but doesn't like the shooting. What? Hang on. Come here, look. This is like three. Then I can have another shot. You hit the twig. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody else has had a turn, okay? Okay, go ahead and pull the trigger. Pull hard. Oh! Okay, here, do this. What are you doing? Are you hitting the mustard again? Put your hand... Okay, just pull back real hard. Good job. Do it again. Good job. Again. We shooting the mustard? Yeah. Here, I'll help 
with you. Oh, nice shot. Nice, too. Oh, oh. Whoo! Can I go now, Dad? Then it's my turn. Keep your gun down range. All right, so Justin's going to be shooting a Marlin. This Marlin was, we bought two of these. We bought one that's called a squirrel gun, and it has a, a clip. It's a lot like a 1022, but not nearly as reliable. And then we bought this one brand new at one of our local grocery stores called Harmon's. Uh, so this gun's quite old. It's a tube feed. Oh. <laughs> and it jams all the time. Yeah, they're not known for their reliability. What you shooting at? Uh, I shot the monster can. Let's go with that. Uh, let's go with the uh, root beer, the far one. Okay, hang on, hang back on. Back up, you guys. Hey, back up. The root beer with that's just behind the monster. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. Hey, look. Okay, I'm on it. Look, I found one. Hey, Dad, look what Look at this. You're hitting me in the head. Monster cup. You gotta let me find it. Whoa! <laughs> okay, only one misfire. That's not bad. The one thing I've noticed about this is you've got to take, you've got to tuck it deep into your shoulder and keep it tight. So the recoil. So the recoil, there's enough force there to force the the spring back up, the action back up. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Yep. So it's a model sixty. Model sixty. It's a tube feed. You feed it from the tube. But that gun's forty years old. Probably. Well, if you bought it brand new, I was 12. I bought it before you were born. Oh, really? You held on to it that long? Yeah, well, about the time you were born, I guess, yeah. Oh, so I, it had been shot before I got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. we'd used it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it would have been, it would have been after you were born. So, yeah, 35, 36 years old. Hey, man, right there. Okay, let's zoom in. See if I can get him. This camera has an incredible zoom. Grandma picking up wood for the fire. Love burning cedar. Cedar smells so good when it burns. Yeah. Wish I had my chainsaw out here. There's all kinds of it I could have cut up. Next time we come out, I'll bring it. So we're, uh, we burn these stumps, they make quite a fire. Just kind of our surroundings. Oh, we got us a good fire now. Yeah. What is it, April 20th?
Nope, no, says it's April 19th. Did you wish your brother birthday two days ago? Which one, Kurt? No. Can't get a hold of me. Good fire. There the boys are climbing that Playing. steep hill from the backside. Fun last activity of the day. Are you still shooting the root beer cans? Yeah. Remember to breathe. Remember your breathing. Nice. Yeah. Still shooting the root beer cans? Nope. And the, the highest. Oh, oh, darn it. My oh, the clip fell out. She keeps pushing the... the. Hey, Just so be careful when you... Don't push that forward. Uh, Let's have to see when you push it forward, it drops out. Uh, okay, you still have more to go. Just don't push that. Which one's you going to shoot? Nice. I got that. Good job, bro. And then the middle. Nice. Got it. I saw that. And then. Oh, barking spider. <laughs> nice. Um, the middle. Oh, you're Hello. out. When you're dating, My you turn. shooting, are you going to show them up? Okay, uh -huh. Hang on. What? When your date takes you out shooting, you're going to just show them up.
night. I don't think the camera can tell what color the fire is. Boy, that is cool. What'd you say?